But at last, we've reached the point where someone I think you all know uh, is here to open. Hang on, you haven't made my speech yet. Finish your shot at God, Lord. I just need good blood. We don't need bottle of fire here. I'm not in random areas. On three, they'll continue it. Just am the off. He the I just want to thank all of you, these such wonderful supporters of our great grassland. Without your support, without your help, without your enthusiasm, we wouldn't have reached the point we are today. The one the one thing that just took a little edge off this, of course, was the loss of one dear friend, I'm Kavash John Parry Williams, or the friend Maurini among BGGWs. One thing was the loss of John Parry Williams, after whom we named this hive. He was a terrific friend of BGGW. He would come in and talk to us for hours and hours, mm -hmm. and it's a tragedy that he wasn't here to see the new hive come yeah. into fruition. Anyway, if you did die, Gormod, we we'll stop you on here now, and go in, Mr. Yolo Williams, Tasaho, and Agor, a good one, Ewe, Oswald, So, Yolo, yep. please, can I ask you to come and officially. Do you say a few words first, or do I just cut the ribbon? <laughs> 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 Hold on, Derek, <laughs> prepare the hell of a long speech. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I just like to uh, reiterate what Gwyn has just said. Really, do you know what? My brave girl, come on, Tony. It's lovely to see so many of you here. Do you come out here? Well, thank you for coming along. I do we watch them on high? Do I always enjoy coming up here because this place has got that sort of community feel about it. You know, it, it's just a little bit different. Uh, for a start, it's stunning. It's beautiful. You couldn't get any better. Down towards the Corp, you know, you've got Knecht and Widva, and all the mountains, beautiful mountains away. You've got the Avon Glaslin itself, which I think is one of the nicest rivers in the whole of Wales. My Avon Vendig and Uri Kerded, Ochorer Avon, Thawar Gwaith, and Echam Durgun, I'm on Hovrid, all it's a, it's a beautiful, peaceful place. You can lose yourself along the banks here. It's just a, a magnificent place. And it's always a pleasure as well. My Wastan and Blessed Dodama. I got the Sharad Kamraig Arsishnik. It's always a pleasure for me as, as a Welsh speaker to be able to come here and speak both in Welsh and English. You know, and I think that is important. After all, you know, that's what makes us a little bit different. Some of you are very, very different. <laughs> <laughs> I like being rude to all. I do, I do. But, but, but it is, you know, and, and, and I celebrate that difference. I'm not xenophobic at all. But it's nice for me as a Welsh speaker to come. You know, I, I lost my mum last year. I spoke to my mum in Welsh all the time, and I miss that. So to come here and see old friends and speak Welsh with them, then speak English to others, is, is not just a pleasure, but I think it's really important because of where we are. We're in a very Welsh part of Wales here, up in northwest Wales. Very special part of Wales as well, for Madog, Glaslin area. And also the ospreys, you know, this was where the first pair of ospreys nested. Well, the first pair, one of two first pairs in 2004. And now, of course, we've got, how many am I allowed to say we've got? Uh, two, <laughs> two, three, <laughs> I'll tell them three. Three pairs, we've got three pairs. I wasn't, wasn't sure if I was allowed to tell you that. But it, it's, isn't it brilliant that, you know, we've now just in a, in, in a small area got three pairs expanded a little bit and you've got four pairs and this is what we were all hoping when that first pair arrived here and we all know that first year it failed of course but then the next year they came back and bred successfully and it's been a terrific story it really has you think 25 years ago we'd never dream we'd be standing here celebrating 
not just one pair of ospreys but three pairs of ospreys here i just think it's it's incredible and you know i was involved with kite protection in the early 1980s when we only had about 40 45 pairs in the whole of the uk all in wales who knows if i make it to 85 we might be talking about a couple of hundred pairs of ospreys in wales but you know you never know there's so many places that should have ospreys that used to have ospreys and that should have them back as well and it's brilliant I love the fact that the Ospreys have brought so many people together. People who would never have met each other otherwise, you know. Now, you're a weird lot, I have to say. <laughs> you are. Honestly, you're bonkers lot. I thought badger people were weird. <laughs> I did, honestly. I thought people who follow rally are weird. You know, they talk nothing but rally talk. They honestly, they do. But you Osprey people are a class above. It's like out to Mongolia. It is, honestly, it's like my mum, right? My mum used to say, oh, Yola. Oh, and I tell you pretty well, I tell you I saw the other day, you know her, um, Eirian. And I said, no, no, I don't. Yes, you do. Eirian is your second cousin's uncle's wife's nephew's wife's mother. I think, what the hell are you on about? And you got it exactly the same. So we've had another osprey come through. Oh, which one was it? Well, you see, it was it was Blue G7. Now, Blue G7 is the great granddaughter of Orange 6 that went up to the Loch of Laws that paired up, and one of their offspring went down to Rutland Water with Black 4. They mated, and their niece came back. And I'm thinking, what the hell are you on about? It's like speaking Klingon, you lot. It is. But isn't it brilliant, though? Isn't it fantastic? And I know so many people, especially over the last two and a bit years, you know, during lockdown, who got so much pleasure from watching this nest. They really have. And, and genuinely, I think it's brought a lot of people through that difficult time it really has to be able to switch on and follow those ospreys the eggs being laid hatching out then the youngsters fledging successfully i don't think we realize just how much it's done for so many people and not just local people throughout the uk and actually throughout the world i've got a friend john henderson in australia he lives on the gold coast he watches these every single day honestly genuinely does he taps in and i get a note every now and again you know they've hatched yellow i can't do those guys. But, uh, but honestly he does genuinely does he gets pleasure from watching them from all the way over there and none of this none of this would be possible without all of you volunteers i know there's a whole army of you here but from the bottom of my heart for for ospreys in wales Dioch of Gallon, thank you very much indeed, and must mention JP as well. Thank you know, you. I, JP's here, JP yeah. is here, JP's yeah. in this, JP's over there, JP's over in that nest over there. His spirit lives on, it really does. And what a nice man he was. Yeah. Always had a smile, always had a hello, didn't matter who you were, always spoke to everyone. He was an absolute cracker of a man. And I, I said this earlier. If I ever hide like this named after me when I go, <laughs> honestly, I will die happy. <laughs> one thing I ask, can you sell cakes in it? It's <laughs> the one thing I would add to it. But hey, listen, that's it, that's enough, that's enough. I've rambled on enough. It gives me a huge pleasure, right? I, I've got to pause first before I open it. Hang on. Here we go. I've got to pretend. <laughs> Well, here we go. It gives me massive pleasure, a pleasure maori, to declare JP's hide well and truly open. <laughs> yeah!